While the Z Fold 4 and Z Fold 5 images look identical, zooming in reveals a huge amount of added fine detail to the image. For years, Samsung phones tended to brush away fine detail as a result of a hyperactive denoise filter, but Samsung has been improving this every year. The Z Fold 5 has definitely proven that. This full crop of the side of the pool table shows just how much more detail the Fold 5 pulls in from an identical shot with the same identical sensors. Essentially, the closer you look, the more of a difference you'll find between these sensors. This has a lot to do with the additional AI processing power on the Fold 5 and its ability to recognize objects. But Samsung still struggles with the white balance even despite this new ISP. If you look at the Pixel Fold shot above, the white balance is far better, and the scene doesn't come out looking so artificially warm. While the Z Fold 5 isn't any better handling the bright backlit scene than the Fold 4, the resolution difference makes the image look much crisper and nicer overall. The Pixel Fold does a better job of both contrast and toning down the glow from the bright windows and looks better, in general. Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 5, Main Camera The Galaxy Z Fold 5 uses the same 50-megapixel main sensor as the Z Fold 4, which is identical to what's on the Galaxy S22 slash S22 Plus and Galaxy S23 slash S23 Plus. The Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 5 improvements come from the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 for Galaxy, which includes a better image signal processor, ISP, inside. If you're not aware of what an ISP is, it's basically a special processor that is designed specifically to handle photos and videos coming from your phone's camera sensors. New processors tend to have better ISPs, thus, photo and video quality is usually improved year over year, even with the same camera sensors. Samsung utilizes a 12MP sensor for its ultra-wide camera on the Z Fold 4 and 5, while Google opts for a lower-resolution 10.8MP sensor on the Pixel Fold. While all three phones sport lenses with identical f/2.2 aperture, the Pixel Fold's ultra-wide camera has bigger pixels 1.25 micrometers compared to the 1.12 micrometers on the Z Fold 4 fifths. The Z Fold 5 produces slightly better dynamic range than the Z Fold 4 but ties with the Pixel Fold depending on where you're looking in the scene. Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 5 Front-Facing Cameras The Z Fold 5 uses the same cover and under-display cameras as the Z Fold 4, but Samsung has made a number of software tweaks that genuinely improve the camera quality, starting with a slightly different final capture resolution. By default, the Z Fold 4's cover camera captures at 2004 by 2672 resolution, while the same camera on the Z Fold 5 captures at 2080 by 2784 resolution. This minor increase in resolution makes a surprising difference in overall quality and seems to avoid that strange pixel stretching slash pixelation issue that the Fold 4's cover camera has. Samsung phones have long been plagued with shutter lag which is defined by the time it takes between pressing the shutter button and being able to take the next photo. Even the best Samsung phones could see a delay of a full second or more between shots, making it easy to miss capturing the right moment if the phone decides to act dumb, as I've heard many people say. Thankfully, the Z Fold 5 seems to finally fix that age-old problem. Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 5 Video Recording Video recording is an area where Samsung has always traditionally excelled, and Google has always traditionally fallen behind. Nothing changes in that respect with the Galaxy Z Fold 5 vs Pixel Fold. I'm only using one video example here for the sake of brevity, but the results from all cameras are the same. Samsung's video recording quality is better from head to toe. Video and overall details are sharper, exposure is better, stabilization is better, and even audio recording quality is better. The Pixel Fold's video is noisier than the Fold 5 in low light. While the difference isn't severe, there's no denying the Fold 5 does a better job of recording video from any angle. Zooming in with the rear camera is a little less cut and dry. In the video above, I compare the Z Fold 4, Z Fold 5, and Pixel Fold by zooming in and out several times in succession. The difference between the Fold 4 and Fold 5 is pretty minimal although it looks like Samsung further tweaked the phone's ability to smoothly switch between cameras while zooming. Meanwhile, the Pixel Fold has a harder time approximating the same spot when zooming in and out. There's a very clear jump when the phone moves between the ultra-wide, main, and telephoto lenses.
The Z Fold series does a much better job of smoothing these transitions out. Google wins the zoom detail test, though, as the 5x optical lens on the back offers a clearer image. Plus, the Pixel Fold can zoom in up to 20x via the viewfinder, while the Galaxy Z Fold 4 fifths are both restricted to a maximum of 12x zoom when recording video. Battery and Photography Improvements from Snapdragon The Fold 5's physical battery capacity and the camera hardware are exactly the same as last year's model. The Fold 5 does have a new coating for its camera lenses that's aimed at reducing lens flare, but I already found the Fold 4 to have less lens flare than the iPhone 14 Pro. The biggest upgrades for both camera capabilities and battery life come from Qualcomm's Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 for Galaxy. Samsung says the chip will boost battery life and bring better AI-powered photography features for low-light photos, segmenting out people and objects, and other camera features. Completely redesigned folding mechanism. The tech at the heart of any foldable phone is the hinge and the Fold 5 has redesigned and rebranded its mechanism as the Flex Hinge, which makes the Fold 5 feel like the way foldables always should have been. It now folds completely flat with no air gap and it's smaller and less bulky which has contributed to the phone being almost 20% slimmer when folded. The Fold 5 is also almost 5% lighter than last year's model at 253G, but it actually feels like an even bigger difference partially because the recently released Google Pixel Fold is so much heavier at 283G by comparison. The crease down the middle of the Fold 5 is still just as noticeable and so that's the next frontier for Samsung to improve in future models. Productivity Upgrades with Software and the S Pen Samsung has put a lot of energy into software features that take advantage of the extra real estate on the main screen, including new multi-window and two-handed drag-and-drop options, as well as app optimizations from software and app makers. Again, that's not flashy, but like the hinge, battery, and photography updates, they're things you'll benefit from every day when using the Fold 5. As we've seen with devices like the Microsoft Surface Duo and Google Pixel Fold, when the software optimizations aren't there, it creates a less satisfying user experience. The other productivity boost comes with the new S Pen Fold Edition and Slim S Pen case. This year's S Pen is thinner and more compact, although not as small as the built-in S Pen in the Galaxy S Ultra line. Its case is also much more practical than last year's, which had a larger S Pen and a huge bump on the case that made it less practical to slip into your pocket. The next improvement for Samsung will be to dock the S Pen Fold Edition into the phone the way it does on the Galaxy S Ultra. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and click like on the video.